Project Utopia is about the ideal way of youth setup that balances the functionality, practicality, and the cost of the build. In the first video about Project Utopia, I went through my economical setup for my youth. Through time, I noticed changes may be needed in order to take my build further. I have decided to swap the well body to a flat tray. This series is about the DIY building process of my Utopia flat tray. So the next step of this project was about the water tank, the water storage for touring use. Uh, when you talk about touring water, um, you probably need more than just a jerry can. So previously we, uh, we had around 40 liters. Uh, that wasn't quite enough uh, because we, well, we had to actually use less water, but in the same time, it would be nice to have a little bit more water to use. So I managed to pick up a, um, a 50 liter poly tank from a local camping store. Uh, at, at that time they had a bit of a clearance, so I managed to pick them up at, four, at a really cheap price. Um, so this is it. Um, and it keeps water well, uh, you, might have to, you might have to treat a few leaks uh, from the inlet and outlet, but um, it's generally pretty okay. And the trick to put this on, is to put a couple of um, mounting brackets and put some holes through it. Uh, make yourself a bracket as well and um, mount it onto the tray.
So basically the fruits of the tray is completed. Um, well obviously we haven't talked about plumbing yet and that will come a little bit later. Um, this step is about uh, the, the side gates and the rear gate. Um, so how do you make them? Uh, you can either buy them from uh, a second hand from someone uh, or in my case I actually salvage um, a couple of side steps and a few scrap uh, aluminium at home and I don't know aluminium welding yet um, that's why I, uh, I, I tie them together using rivets and bolts um, uh, disjoining all these pieces of metals um, by using fasteners um, bend them into, into the right shape and etc uh, etc et things like that I've got to say this is actually a very tricky step uh, at the moment you weld some hinges um, I think that, that is what it is called anyway uh, on the side of the tray um, you are so afraid that they are going to affect um, your plans you know uh, in my case uh, the hinges on the sides actually affected um, how the, the the amount of space that I can slide the um, the uh, the uh, aluminium panel on top, um, but that's not a big problem. You can always trim the, the panels uh, to size, uh, so you can actually fit uh, have a better fit. Um, the tray is 90% completed, um, as you can see it is fully welded, headboard is there waiting to be put on, 2.5mm Ali sheet, uh, pick up the other day, rear combination lamps, Deutsch plugged, load resisted, um, so plug it in, put it in place, um, onboard water tank, plumbing right here, custom made bracket to suit, um, I've got this breather filter, it filters dust and water, and also a bit of a lockable filler cap. And um, I've, I've custom made myself a couple of, well this is basically a bracket, that's for, for the breather, and that's for the filler, filler hose. Um, it was a boring, boring process, I didn't quite record it, but as you know it involves cutting, bending, drilling and welding. Uh, what's left to be done? So after the gates, all I needed to do is uh, to paint it by a Raptor coat liner. Uh, once it is done, the last thing I will be doing is to sheet the, fr uh, the tray. So the sheet will be the last thing to go on. So I got myself this uh, bit of kit. Uh, I think it's a 2 litre Raptor coat liner kit and I, I think at the end I actually um, got myself a third, uh, the, the third litre so I had, had to use a total of 3 litres uh, in order to cover, uh, fully cover uh, the bare, uh, well, the colour of the metal, it's not really bare metal. So basically that's the, the process is, uh, this kit is tintable, uh, I've tinted uh, the Raptor coat um, with the paint that I wanted, um, I asked the local auto store uh, to get the color that I wanted. Uh, so you basically mix that in. Um, make sure it is. Uh, make sure you put a hardener in as well. 
and you have to use it within a short period of time. And mind you, the way I put on this Raptor Coat Liner was a little bit different from most uh, most people because I do not have a uh, compressor. I've decided to try a roll-on method. Um, or well, considering this is not really, uh, it doesn't need to be very smooth. Let's put it this way. Uh, I I like the rough look, so I've decided to use a um, uh, the um, acrylic uh, paint roller and see how it goes. Um, the 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 result wasn't as good as I expected. Uh, probably best to use a compressor spray, um, but well, you don't have it. What can you do? You have to do it this way. Um, so the first step is to obviously mix this uh, paint, and then you apply it. And um, before, uh, make sure you before you do any of this, you have to apply those um, uh, edge primer, uh, and th and that increase the adhesion of the Raptor coat. All right, here is the final step of the uh, of the tray project. Um, this is to put the sheet on. So I've chosen an aluminium sheet, two mil aluminium sheet. Um, 1890 by 1650 approximate size um, it is about 20 kilograms and it is a perfect weight um, of the of the sheet of the ute tray um, the ute tray was made of steel and it pro provides the um, the mechanical strength uh, for four-wheel driving and the sheet of aluminium is to keep the weight down otherwise steel would have been almost double the weight Thank you.